Hello, I'm back. Right, let's see if I can get this to work on Facebook now. Oh, look, there you all are. I can see some comments. Can't see all the comments, but that's okay. I'm just gonna... That's gonna annoy me because I can't see the comments, so let's get my laptop. How are we all this afternoon? I hope your day is going well. As, uh, there we go. As part of the great international craft show here in Australia, we are doing some fantastic live Facebooks and we have got some excellent specials on this weekend. Um, right, let's bring up what I need to see on here. Here we go. Now I can see, hello, Lynn, Naomi, Karen, Donna, Jackie. Wonderful. All right, let's do this. So we are doing lots of fantastic specials this weekend, part of the Great International Craft Show. And we, today, I'm doing some live Facebooks, talking to you about different fun techniques, showing you some cool things, and um, just hanging out with you for the day, really. All the good stuff. I, hello Sam. I have got, um, we've got a website, nataliemay.com.au, and today only, we have got 15% off of Tim Holtz products, 15% off of Vicky Booten products, 15% off all pattern papers, plus we have a great range of show specials available as well. So there's something to suit absolutely everyone and we have some brilliant specials and things available, bundles, all sorts as well. You can join our Facebook group, Natalie May, uh, Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community. Follow me on YouTube and Instagram as well. And you can also sign up to do our online classes. Uh, and if you are in Adelaide, you are welcome to come and join in with our in-person classes. Yes, Dana. Dana's just saying that my nails match my magicals, my new magicals, which I'll be talking to you about maybe this afternoon or tomorrow. So, all right. Last week... I think it was, I released some brand new collage papers and I'm going to do an art journal page today using these collage papers. Um, so showing you what you can do with them. I think I've got quite a range of them available at the moment and uh, something to suit everyone and something to suit all different levels uh, as well of, of crafting. So. We have got these basic ones here, which are just lovely backgrounds. We have got, this one is called Lined Alpha, and that's exactly what they are. These one, this one is called Sacrifices. This one is called Eye on the Prize. So these ones here are black and white. This one here I've done in a really lovely gray scale. It's a couple of shades back from black. So it's really quite a subtle color. Then we come into our girls here. This one is called Strength in Numbers. You may have seen over the last couple of weeks, the lovely Neve Bailey has been creating using um, my Strength in Numbers girls and uh, been creating some amazing bits of, art, bits of artwork. So there's that one. We also have our ladies. So this one is called Florence. So this is uh, Florence. This is excellent for... So these ones are brilliant for adding uh, focal points onto your art journal pages. So we've got the images in colour and black and white. And then we've got these fantastic little quotes that we've added here. This is Miriam. Miriam has got some wonderful quotes in here. Be a voice, not an echo. Constantly challenge yourself. Hustle and heart will set you apart. We have got Olive. And Olive has got life is a gift. Start each day with gratitude. The days that break you are the days that make you. I think that sums it up. This is Molly. This one has got some of my favourite quotes on it. Uh, Be the woman who fixes another woman's crown without telling the world that it was crooked. I like that. 
This one is Betty. Her soul is fierce. Her heart is brave. Her mind is strong. So, and then we've got Claris. So I thought I would use one of these in one of my art journal pages. Um, Karen's just commented. Yes, yeah, so Neve Bailey has been using these. Uh, she did use these ones. If you have a look, if you look her up, you'll see some wonderful creations uh, using hers. So what am I going to use today? I'm thinking I might use... I might use Miriam today. And I'm going to show you how to use these in your art journal. Righty o. I'm going to be using the Dina, uh, sorry, yeah, the Dina Wakeley craft album. This is a new craft journal that came in. Uh, she released it, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I'm going to use a page in here. I haven't done a page yet. These are really lovely thick craft pages. So they're quite heavy. They're really, really nice. Oh, my camera's a little crooked. Sorry, girls. No, that's just made it worse. There we go. Uh, so this is where I cleaned my, my brush off the other day. So I thought I might just use that. Oh, gee, that's annoying. Let me just see if I can straighten that up a bit. Sorry, ladies. There we go. Okay, so this is my craft journal. So the paper is heavy duty. It is craft paper. It is heavy craft paper. Um, it's a really, really nice surface to work on. So this page here is what I'm going to do. And I think the first thing I might do is cut out my girl's face here. Uh, cut out the head. And I'll show you what we can do with these. Um, all right, so what these are, these are a really lightweight tissue paper, perhaps. Perfect for collaging. Perfect for adding to your projects. Uh, you can use collage papers in your backgrounds. You can use them in as your focal points, which is what I'm doing today. You can do so many really awesome things with them. Um, we do have quite a range of collage papers available. We've got some really nice ones from Stamperia. We've got some from Art by Marlene, um, which you will find that the Art by Marlene ones, I do believe, are also on special at the moment. Um, we have got... What other brands have we got, Lou? No, you're not listening. That's all right. You're working. I shouldn't shouldn't interrupt you. Collage papers. Oh, Scrap Effects do collage papers as well. So there's lots of different brands, and they are something that we have come to learn to love for art journaling because it makes creating our backgrounds really, really easy and building our images. All right, so I'm just cutting that around there. It's got a nice, easy line. So this is Miriam. And I'm just going to tear that across there rather than do a straight line. And I'm going to put her on my page about here-ish, I reckon. So that's where she's going to go. So I'm going to pop that aside and we're going to get some paint happening. I'm going to pop her over there. I'm just going to get myself a little clip. Hang on a sec. All right, so I, I do like to use clips um, when, I'm, when I'm journaling. I find that it helps me out a lot, keeps my pages tied together on the other side and out of the way. I've just put a piece of computer paper underneath there. And these are, this is one of the Dina Wakeley Bulldog clips that we got restocked back in again last week. So they're pretty. Okay, let's go paint. I want to do a bit of a painty background. Um, I do have some stencils handy. I have got some baby wipes handy. Um, because my image is red, I, I don't want to put, and I don't want to put too much paint in this area here where her head's going to go, but I want to add some colour to my background, um, give it a bit of a pop. So I'm going to start with some Dina Wakeley lemon paint. 
and a paint brush. Here we go. No, that's a bit small. I'm going to use one of the Art by Marlene paint brushes. This one is a nice big fat paint brush. And I like a little bit of width. So this is a really, really fun. Now, for those of you who don't know much about art journaling, art journaling is different for everyone. Art, art journaling for me is about getting some creativity down onto a page. Um, so what I'm thinking is because I've got such a red image here, I really do need to go with a contrasting colour in my background. I need to go and layer up some colours that are going to make it pop and make it stand out um, and complement it. So before I do anything else, I'm going to pull out some of those colours here and a couple of stencils so that I can rub some colour off where needed. I want some spots. Um, I want, I know what I would like. Where is, so these are, these are stencils here from the Natalie May scrapbooking collections. And I might use this very well used one here, one of my favorites. So I've got dots, I've got that one, and I might use that one. Whoops. And then that happens, and I end up with them everywhere. I just put mine in a little pencil case. Somebody was asking me the other day, hello, Michelle Gibbs. Hello, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's just have a bit of a plan out here. I've got my first colour down. I know that she's going to go about here. So how about I use a lead pencil and just mark out an approximate area where she might go. And no, I don't have a lead pencil handy, so I'm going to use a thin black pen so I know not to put too much here down to here and around there and that's the top peak area there about that okay so this gives me a get a bit of a guide on on where she's going to sit and I'll clip her back up there now, I know that it hasn't shown up on camera, but you'll just have to trust me on that. And how about I pop these in here while I tell you a little bit more about the specials that we've got on offer. Uh, so we have got in our uh, on our website, nataliemay.com.au, you will find in the sidebar a couple of new tabs there, which we've added in especially for the show. And they are... For example, we've got show specials where you'll find a whole heap of Art by Marlene products marked down, Minte marked down. Um, we have got heat tools out for $20. We have got a huge, huge range of stuff available to you. All right, so some excellent specials for you to take advantage of over the weekend. All right, so now I'm going to get in with some turquoise. And I'm going to do a bit of a dry brush technique. So what that is, is just getting the colour on. And I'm going to use a baby wipe. So I've got a baby wipe handy here. And I'm going to do a little rub back. So a little rub back means I'm just going to rub that paint off with a baby wipe. And it leaves this fantastic impression. Okay. Like so. Put a bit of paint on there to grab. And... Just going up to that edge there, getting it on a bit down the bottom here. And then while it is wet, I'm just gonna rub that back and it's left a really lovely impression. And this color here is called Ocean from Dana Wakeley. So Dana Wakeley paints are a really nice heavy bodied paint, which means they've got a nice amount of pigment and shape 
to them, which is what I really, really like about this. So I'm gonna go in here over the top. And you can see that I'm doing a real, a very loose technique, a really loose brushing like that. So, and the reason being is that I want it to be quite relaxed. Okay, this is an art journal page that is just for me. It's not to do anything else except, except for, you know, give me a little creative outlet today and to give you an idea on what to do with paint. So it's not off to be, you know, judged by everyone else and whatnot. It's just a nice, fun, relaxed, easy project. And I can lay the paints up, I can mix them together. Just a little rub back. I love that yellow coming through. And because I have a little bit of gesso underneath, that's what has allowed me to be able to rub it back, all right? So I've got the color on just like that, nice and simple. What I would like to do now is add some white to give it a little bit of dimension. Uh, I didn't grab any white paint handy, but what I do have, or do I? No, but what I do have is some white gesso. And I'm gonna use a blending tool to add a few white spots around the page. So this one is one of my stencils that I have designed and I wanna grab some white and just blend some on there, connecting it to the edge. I put way too much on then and I can test just by lifting it up. So I'm gonna use that baby wipe again just to wipe it back. I'm gonna get in there with my finger actually. Okay, so that's given me this really different, interesting sort of effect. But more importantly, it's connected to the side here and that's what I wanted to make sure. Everything needs to be connected. So I'm not putting any fresh paint on or uh, white on my sponge. This is one of the Ranger blending sponges. I'm just popping a bit of that on. And I wanna pop a bit in here. And a bit down in this corner and a bit down here so now it's given me a few little dots around the place and I've just had a bit of an idea I think I might want to add a few words to my background and well not so much words but it's more like a bit of an alphabet my dirty stencil there we go um, and what color do I want to do it in I'm gonna do use it marine. Marine is a slightly darker blue in the Dina Wakeley paints. And I'm even just gonna use this white sponge that I used before, just to get some paint on like that. Now, while I have it in place, I'm just gonna tone it back a bit with my baby wipe. Lift it, yeah, not bad. It's a bit heavy here. That's better. I'm gonna pop a little up the top here, not too much. And a baby wipe will enable me to rub it back. A little down here. Just a little baby wipe just to tone it back a little. And then I'm just gonna pop a little down the bottom here as well. So sometimes where it's really dark like this, just a damp baby wipe. Because it's, we're working on acrylic paint, we have the ability to, to tone it back just a little. So I've used my dot stencil, I've used my Arty Alpha stencil, and what I'd like to do now is I'm gonna put some of these leaves in the background as well. Now I'm gonna make sure that I don't pop it underneath where she's gonna go, okay? Because I want to, so if I put blue paint under there, her face will end up being quite blue because the paper um, comes out being quite transparent. 
Um, but actually, maybe I'll add some stamping. Maybe we'll do that. I have got my Won't Let You Down stamp. And I'm going to use a black ink pad. Make sure my words are up the right way first. And I'm not going to use it on an acrylic block. I don't want an acrylic block. I want to have it quite loose. And I'm going to slide her out of the way. And it's doing like a partial little print. And that, that is what I am after. I am not after a, a full edge to edge sort of situation. I'm after something quite soft and loose, we shall call that. And I'll bring it up to camera and show you. Let's have a bit of a look and see where we are at. So you can see how that stamping is quite partial. And that is so, we've just got a little bit of that, what, what has she done there in the background sort of look. All right. Okie dokie. So next thing I want to do is come back with this guy. And this guy I will do in, I'm debating on whether or not to go dark or light. Uh, what do we think? What do we think? I've got sage. Let's see how sage looks. Sage is that really nice light green. Uh, so let's have a look and see how it goes. And I want to do two little ones. Actually, I might just do one at a time. Let's do that. So I'm going to use this same sponge here. Uh, two reasons. Number one, I'm being quite lazy. Number two, the colours are all going to work together. That's okay. Do a half one first and see how it looks. And I can add some more colour to it if I need to. I know I'm going to outline it in black pen. So rather than just lifting it up, I'm just going to peel, hold my hand down and peel it back. Oh yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind it at all. So I'll do this one now, which is the little one next to it. So this is my branching out stencil. Uh, this is one of the first ones I bought out and it is available online under products by Natalie May. Now, the just to let you know as well, products by Natalie May are not going to be discounted at all during this online show. Okay, so you will be able to add them to your cart at any time and the price won't change over the weekend. For those of you who don't know, we have some fantastic specials and we have a new one every day. A new one every day. So today's special, of course, is the Vicky Bouchon products and the Tim Holt products and patterned paper we have on special today. Now, I don't have enough paint on this one here. I really didn't commit to it properly. So I'm going to add some more. And it's a really great stencil to layer up and have another round if you wanted to. Now I have gone a little bit into my stamp area, but I'm okay with that because, sorry, my image area, because I know I've got red going on underneath. Now I might just give this a bit more love here. Happy with that, pop that aside. So this guy, what I do with this one is, this is my uh, little sponge, of course, that comes off of here. And I just throw that straight into my water container on my desk because I can give that a rinse and use it again. Now, before I do anything else, I'm just gonna take what's on here and create a little painty background in my little journal from earlier today, just so that I don't waste anything. 
and create a nice little background ready to go for something else to be added to later on so that I'm not wasting this paint here. Little tip, always have another journal handy so that you can do this. And then I've got a background here that I can build on and add more, more to um, when I am ready. Or if I don't like it, I can just collage over the top of it. Okay, paintbrush in water, little page on the floor. So I'm pretty happy with that. So how do we stick this down? Well, she's going to get stuck down about there. And what I want to do is I want to stick her down so that she is completely, completely adhered to the page. Um, I'm going to clean this off first. And then we're going to use a gel medium, which is the perfect adhesive for sticking down collage paper. For those of you who used to do decoupage back in the day, this is right up your alley. It's a similar product, um, gel medium, and it is this one is the Dina Wakely Soft Gel, which is my favourite. One of my favourites. I have two that I use all the time. The other one I use all the time is Chroma Krill. Um, just trying to find the perfect paintbrush. And I can't, so I'm just going to go with this one. All right, first of all, I just get it in there. And I'm going to try and put my gel medium straight onto here. I don't want too, too much gel medium onto my painty page. I'm going to pop her straight onto here, onto the back. And I'm giving it a nice, generous coat right up to the edges. So I don't want to do this one over, put the paint over the, sorry, the gel medium over the top of my paper. Uh, not this time, I'm going to have a slightly different effect. Pick it up, slide it out the way. And layer her down where I want her to go. And just gently give her a massage. Now I'm going to use my knob here to polish that off. This I use for stamping, but it also has many other purposes, just like this. You'll find this little knob under the tools section. Happy days. Put that straight into water if you're not going to use it. Am I going to use it? Let's have a look. I might do, do I want to include one of these words? Not today. Before I do anything else, what I might do, I'm going to put it straight into water, is I want to blend that down into here. All right, so using, I might use some of this lovely ocean, just a little and I've just got a finer paintbrush here. And I have the ability to make it any colour I want because I have the power. And there we go. So I'm incorporating her into the page. And she's not just a head. Floating. She needs to be anchored into the page. And I'm going to put a bit of green in here as well because she's got green in her top. So I just want to make that work. So I'm extending her body down. And in a moment when this is dry, I'm going to add some little features to her. Give her a collar. Happy days. Righty O. Pop that away. Pop that away. Okay, see how I've just blended that down? 
joining her into the background there, nothing more than that. Throw my dual medium across the table. Black pen, any black pen will suffice. Here is a, what do we got here? Me and the continual issue with black pens. Oh, look, let's try this one. Right, what I want to do is I would like to, I'm just giving her a little bit more definition around the areas that I've cut. So almost like a bit more of an outline. This is all completely dry. Actually, why don't we do a bit of this? Loop, draw, loop. bit of outline there we go and then I'll do the same thing here now I'm one of these people that when I'm I'm drawing doodling I need to turn my page And this is actually a little bit damp. I need to heat this, heat set this in a minute. And then I'm gonna grab a white pen and I'm gonna do some outline, a bit more outline on my branches here. Help them stand out a little bit more. All right, I'm just gonna grab my heat tool and just gently dry that off. Just because what I wanna do is when I add the uh, pen over the top of this in a minute, I just wanna make sure that it doesn't catch and that it's totally dry. Um, just a little side note as well, if you do need a new heat gun, okay, I'm your girl this weekend. We've got some fantastic heat tools available for 20 bucks. 20 bucks couple of cups of coffee all right so if you need a spare heat tool jump online you'll find them in the show specials category um jenny's watching hey there jenny now the other thing is is we also have some um great bundles available so make sure that you have a look at some of those bundles um right now i just want to add some little detail here so she's got this really super cute little necklace on what I might do is I want to give her a bit of a collar. Oh, see, and I have to turn my page to draw. And I know, I'm sorry, you can't see it in that shadow there. So let's go this way. And I'm building on Miriam. I'm dressing her now giving her a little collar, um, which I'll put some white pen around in a minute. And I want to kind of finish her hair there. Where else was I? So any bits where I was a bit shonky with my scissors, I can get my black pen. Or if I had a Stabilo pencil, that's a really great tool for doing that sort of detail. Um, but I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm gonna grab a white pen now. And let's see if the white pen gods are on my side today. They are. What I'm looking for is just a tiny amount of white. They're not on my, I've jinxed myself. It's been laying down, that's the problem. Try this guy. There we go. Just 
giving it a little white touch at the bottom of those leaves. And it gives it a bit of dimension. It gives us a bit of, oh, what has she done there? That's what we're after. So if you missed my live Facebook, live Facebook from this morning session, you can um, head over to my YouTube and watch that, or you can scroll back down through my page and you can still view that there. Uh, we did a scrapbook page this morning using Distress Oxides, Cocoa Vanilla uh, Ephemera, and a bit of stenciling, uh, and something that's really easy for just about anyone to do. Okay. So you can go back anytime and watch that. I don't know if you can tell, and I'll bring it up to camera in a moment, just to show you this white, although messy, does make a difference. Turning it back with my finger, giving a little smudge. So sometimes where it's a bit bright, there's no reason why you can't just take that back a little. And I'm going to just lightly dot her eyes. And I can get in here with my white pen and enhance any of these little bits up in here as well. Colour in the top. So I hope I haven't made this process look hard. For those of you just tuning in, we're having a little bit of a play with our, uh, in our Dina Wakely craft journal and we are creating an art journal page using my new collage papers. I have just introduced you to Miriam and Miriam is one of our new ladies. Uh, you when you purchase the collage papers you also have you get a collage paper with a color image um, all ready to go or you have a black and white image that you can color yourself if you feel like you want to and I am loving this page I've just popped a little border on it um, I've got a little birdie here do I want to add I might add instead of taking a collage sheet I'm going to take a studio light essential sticky note and these have got some nice little phrases on them and let's find one here that says something fantastic like I don't know I have known silence and fireworks. And I don't want to use it as a whole big piece like that. I'm going to cut that there. And I'm going to stick it there. And there. Now you'll notice that I'm only sticking it down on one end. You see how it's still loose? That's just so that I can make sure that it's straight and I can lift it up if I need to. And now I'm just going to get my black pen and pop a little doodling around it. Because we all love a little doodling on our page. Rightio, and there you go. In a space of half an hour, 30, less than 30 minutes actually, because I did a bit of talking at the start, I have created a art journal page um, using some super simple techniques. Love that she's a redhead, Susie Borman. I know, that's why I use the word fireworks. Well done. All right, so let's bring it up. Let's have a close look. Let's break it down. We have got a very, very lightly gessoed background on our craft paper. We then had... A, we've added the paint on and then we've added some stenciling over the top and a little stamping. Can you see that stamping right up here where my thumb is? Right, so it's barely noticeable, but it's there, it's a detail. Okay, and then we use gel medium to stick down Miriam. Okay, and there's that little collar there that I drew on and voila, done. 
And I love that. Hey, Lou, look how good I am. <laughs> Check it out. Miriam looks fantastic. And it's, and it's lovely and it's smooth. But you see how that white pen on here just lifts up and gives those branches a little bit more dimension, a little bit more oomph. Okay, simple and easy. That's what we are after. All right, guys, so there we go. That's it from me for today. I'm going to, as I normally do, post a photo up on Facebook of what this page looks like with a link to the products that we have used. Um, you will find them all available on nataliemay.com.au. We definitely have something there to suit everyone. Uh, we have got some fantastic specials. Today's special is Tim Holtz products, Vicky Bouton products, and patterned paper. So all the patterned paper pads um, of all different sizes, and they are all 15% off today. Now that special finishes when I go to bed, so you need to make the most of it because those specials will not be available tomorrow at all so you will be able to add those to your cart and if you decide oh hang on a minute what if i want to buy something tomorrow what you need to do today is pay twelve dollars fifty for postage okay and what we will do and when you do your second order is you select no judgment and we will put them all together and post them on monday and tuesday so they will all come to you together if you accidentally pay postage every time you order Order, that's okay we'll, we'll give you a, a credit uh, and if you forget to pay postage and just keep saying no judgment then we will flick you a invoice for $12.50 all right so um, to cover your postage fantastic guys I look forward to chatting with you all soon jump online to nataliemay.com.au and uh, wash your hands kiss your kids chat soon